Here you landed on the Coach JV Podcast. This is a raw, authentic podcast, helping you understand the power you have inside of you to accomplish great things. I'm just going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is not the podcast for you. But if you're ready to rise, let's go. Warriors, rise! Good morning, everybody. I'm about to sneeze. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to the Coach. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Coach JV Podcast. We talk about motivation. I ain't re-recording this. Health and life. My name is Coach JV. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. I am your top health mindset, business, crypto, whatever coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes your unconscious activities. Today is simple, man. That thinking stinking, man. You got to start thinking. Like I just, that's, that's all I want to say today. You got to start thinking. Like it's just, I'm so okay with the blasting of being called a new age Christian and the blasting of saying that it's blasphemy what I'm talking about. And it's, you know, it's because at least I'm thinking, at least I'm thinking because the responses I get from these people crack me up. I'm like, so share with me your thoughts. And they're like, you're wrong. I'm like, Okay about what? What am I wrong about? That's not the way it is. And I'm like, then what way is it? And it makes me realize that they're not even thinking. Like people aren't thinking anymore. Like we have to start thinking. And what I mean by that specifically is why do you believe what you believe? If you think something is wrong, why do you think that? And most of the time it's because you were told it's wrong. You were told it's wrong. They were, you were told it's wrong, guys. There's so much repetitiveness in all of this. It is just a story of humanity. Jesus learned from Buddha. Buddha learned from Thoth. All these different things. Dive into it. Dude, Joe Rogan opened up Pandora's box just recently, guys, with Cat Williams. I was so, so grateful and so excited. They started talking about the Emerald Tablets, and Joe Rogan is the number one podcaster in the world. And do you realize what that's going to do? Do you realize what that meant? When I was listening to that, I got, I listened to that interview. Um, it was right after it went live and I'm like, holy shit. That's what I've been studying guys. The Emerald tablets, gospel of 12, the gospel of Mary Magdalene, the book of Thomas, all these books that were taken out of the Bible. Well, the, the Emerald tablets weren't taken out of the Bible, but if you really read the Bible, it was written from the Emerald tablets, guys, the Emerald tablets are hidden in the Vatican guys. It's all there. It's just a story of humanity. It's not that difficult. There's Zoanism. Zoanism. Zo- Esther learned from Z- uh, Zoarstist. I forget. It. We'll just call it Zoanism. There's a guy, Zo- Zoarst. Zoarst. My dyslexia, man. Zoarst taught Esther. Esther taught Moses. Moses brought down the tablets. Guys, these are stories that are repeated in humanity over and over again. And they're like, hey, guys, you are powerful beyond measure. And then it's some point, somebody in humanity contextualizes as a physical thing that is like, it's outside of us and it's not outside of you. Wow. Think about it. Think about it. We go into these buildings and we learn from a guy in the pulpit and he preaches down to you and tells you you're a sinner and you're not good enough and you're not worthy and you're not perfect like Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ went around and guess what? His disciples, guess who he picked? Us. Every disciple was jacked up just like us. Disciples, he took undisciplined people and made them disciplined. That's what a disciple is. He made them discipline their mind, master the cranial nerves, master and understand who the wise men were, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the thalamus. He made us understand that the two become one. You have Mary, you had Joseph, the male and female coming together to create one. And we go through this process where we're running from ourselves and we work to master the mind in between the temples, the singular eye, take no thought. And when we start to take no thought and we realize that all things are okay and everything is happening for us and nothing is against us. And we start to think differently and we thoughts become things and we start to master our thoughts and we master our thoughts and therefore we change our environment. What we do in darkness comes to light. It's very simple. Atom. And Eve, woman didn't come from our rib. It came atom and Eve is a atom. It is an ion. You need the positive. You need the negative. Okay. So atom was an atom that 
the opposite did something negative and he, you know, we blame it on woman it has nothing to do with woman and man, the atom. Okay. Saw the snake. They said not to eat from the apple. So that created the negative. God is perfect. So imperfection was eating the apple that we're told not to eat from, which made imperfection. They saw themselves as naked. Now they're like, Oh oh my God, we're naked. Now you had the positive and negative and the two became one and they created Cain and Abel can't and Abel. I can't, I'm able to, and then (laughs) can't killed Abel. And then humanity starts this cycle. We have to start thinking, thinking, think about it. Think about it. We have to stop just believing some man or woman who is telling us how life works and start to experience life. Go sit in the sun. Go play with your kids. Go enjoy life. Understand that this is all created for you and nothing is against you. So I just want you to start thinking. That's all I got to say today. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And as we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go.